Common European data spaces. What are they and how can CEMIC help facilitate interoperability within, across and beyond data spaces? A common European data space brings together relevant data infrastructures and governance frameworks in order to facilitate data pooling and sharing. To develop such a data space and unlock its value, fundamental principles are necessary. Ensuring data findability and accessibility, breaking down data silos, promoting interoperability for collaborative innovation, and easing data sharing, all of which are important goals for CEMIC. We can achieve these goals by establishing agreements on data exchange protocols, leveraging innovative data solutions, and embracing key data models. A cornerstone in this effort is the harmonized semantic specification provided by CEMIC, DCAT AP. DCAT AP is the DCAT application profile for data portals in Europe and is a specification based on the data catalog vocabulary developed by W3C. DCAT AP aims at harmonizing the cataloging of data across domains and organizations through one single semantic specification provided and maintained by CEMIC. DCAT AP helps harmonize metadata, facilitating description, while at the same time allowing variations. It's the key to stable and long term management of metadata and datasets across different data spaces. Successfully implementing DCAT AP to describe datasets within a data space will make them more findable and accessible, which is an important aspect of a data space. CEMIC and DCAT AP have a track record to support the achievement of these benefits. Let's hear what some of the key European data spaces have to say about it. The European Health Data Space aims to harness the power of health data for research, innovation and policy making. A key aspect of this is the ability to easily discover and access health data across all member states of the European Union. The DCAT AP application profile is playing a crucial role in this process, providing a standardized, yet familiar and user-friendly way for describing health data. Due to its domain agnostic nature, DCAT AP can be applied in any data space. In addition, it is easily extensible if it was necessary. We decided to use DCAT AP as a baseline for our metadata specification, which we call Mobility DCAT AP. We think DCAT AP provides a very solid basis to define and structure metadata also in the mobility domain. Other examples of such extensions are GeoDCAT AP and the Annex DCAT AP for high-value datasets. Both extensions help facilitate the adherence to regulation for member states. The INSPIRE Directive is a legal framework that aims at making environmental geospatial data more accessible and usable. To also make these spatial datasets and services better searchable across borders and different sectors, GeoDCAT AP was developed that allows to convert ISO metadata, which is required under the INSPIRE Directive, into DCAT AP metadata. These few examples showcase the enormous versatility of DCAT AP. The successful use of DCAT AP in data spaces will enable interoperability, breaking down any existing silos to drive Europe's competitiveness in the modern data market. If you want to learn more about DCAT AP and data spaces and the levels of support that CEMIC can provide, you can visit the CEMIC Support Centre, where you will find more information, resources and contacts. See you next time.